finally an actual monster to fight. Hopefully this will be halfway interesting. The best weapons to use here are hammers, much to my annoyance. They're very slow, very awkward. Don't like using them, but they do the job here. We'll be using the Grand Hammer obtained in Rudrut's Cave. Notice it has a forest code. That is important. So, what is this guy packing? Well, the dragon head breathes fireballs at you. The goat head can create a magic circle on your feet. This will not hit you as long as you keep moving. You can attack with his tail. Comes out pretty fast, but only hits straight ahead. Finally, he's got this points, and this is your window of opportunity. If you hit him right after he lands, he'll fall over and you can pound him to your heart's content. Don't you look at me like that, you filthy-minded beast. Let's do this. Now, because he is a monster, he will be affected if we change his codes. So right away, we scan him. And once his page pops up, I'm going to remove all elements codes except lightning. If you'll recall, our hammer is forest coded and forest beats lightning. Fish. Bosh, Wallop, he's done. Now, I could have thrown some ill codes on him as well, but I think that's just overdoing it. I mean, if I'd weakened it first, it might have taken two hits instead of three. Not worth the effort, not interesting to watch. So there you go. Um, I promise the bosses get more interesting from here. Or at least the monsters do. Until then.